Welcome back to the Girl Cave. It's been a hot minute. I know. I apologize. I don't know. Life is just crazy but beautiful. And I've not been in my craft room at all. Except to throw things in here. This is so chaotic in here. I just close the door and walk away. You know what? I retire this May. May 30th. Uh, and then I'll I'll deal with my room at that point in my life like right now i'm just going to enjoy every moment that i can so let me tell you what i've been working on that was a long intro <laughs> please don't skip through it uh look <laughs> a new project of course i have been taking playing cards and i'm making little bookmarks for my students as gifts i have 186 current students and then I have a lot of students that still come into my classroom two or three times a week. So I want to make them gifts as well before. So let me show you what I've done so far. I think I've only made eight cards so far because I'm trying out different, different things to see which I like best. This card I made with Mod Podge. And it says matte, but I still see a little bit of gloss there, and I'm not a fan of it. So this one was done with Mod Podge and a napkin. It's cute, but I'm, I don't know. I don't like the glossy finish. This one was done with a regular glue stick, which I can't. It's somewhere in this mess. <laughs> and I dropped something on the floor. Yeah. Okay, so I used a regular glue stick. That's a little bit of napkin and this is a piece of scrap paper and I have like uh, scrap paper from a book and then I stamped a little bit right there on this little pad. Just do I like it? I, I don't know. I kind of like that the texture of the paper is not like this one, but I still wasn't a fan of it because the card is still shiny even though I try to what do you call that file it sand it still not a fan of the finish I have this one this one has I I don't know can you see does it show you see the scratches that was me using a sandpaper to try and get the gloss off didn't really work that much I used the regular glue stick. Not bad, but oh, this one was also with the Mod Podge. So I, I made like three with the Mod Podge at once, made three with just nothing but the glue stick. It's cute, but I don't really, oh, the gloss, the gloss is not my, not my jam. Then I have this one, Mod Podge as well, and a napkin, and then some stickers. Isn't it weird? I love it. Uh, okay, this one, regular glue stick. I did try and buff out the card. There's a little bit of napkin there. There's a die cut and paper from a book. I like this one. This one, again, just regular glue stick. And a little bit of napkin and paper. I covered most of the card on this one and I kind of like that better than when I see more of the card. Like this one, I see a lot of the card and it's shiny and I don't like that. So I know off the bat that I don't like the gloss. That one was cute. This one, even though it's glossy, it's got a little fox there, so I love it. I might have to keep this one. <laughs> Although I have more of these uh, little tissues, so I can make more of those. This one is so cute. I love it. And then this one, what did I do with this one? Okay, this one I did Mod Podge first with a napkin. It was a white napkin. And then on top of that, I did the paper. And then a sticker and another sticker. 
it feels like the paper base gives it a really good texture. I like it, but again, not the glossy part. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try now. I got some clear gesso. I'm going to try using clear gesso instead of the Mod Podge to see how I like that. And then I bought, let me put these away. So how many have I done so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. I've done nine. Only like 201 to go. I'm going to try the clear gesso first and see how I like that. I'm going to try clear gesso on top of... Let me see how am I going to try. I'm going to try clear gesso without buffing out the card. And I have some cards that I got this sandpaper thing at the Dollar Tree. And I really, really, really took a lot of the gloss off. And I really, I kind of like that. So I might do some of these like this without paper. I want to try different, different looks. For some of them, I even started to buff out the back because I like the look kind of looks it makes it look kind of vintage and for some of them I'm going to try spray inks for some of them I'm going to try water colors and for some of them I'm just going to try coffee or tea dyeing and see which one I like the best and then carry on there um, this is a great opportunity to to try new things and see what works best for me and what doesn't. What do I like and what I don't like. Super inexpensive. Uh, very small. And it's fairly quick. So in order to make it faster. Because I have to make so many. Um, obviously I don't think they're going to be Christmas gifts. Because we go on Christmas break in just like mm, two, three weeks. But they will be uh, given to them before the end of the school year. That's for sure. All right. So what am I going to do now? <laughs> I have some buff out. Let me try these today. These I'm going to put to the side. I'm going to try one, two, three that are buffed out using the clear gesso. And nothing else. So I'm just going to do like a base today, let it dry and come back tomorrow and see what I like. Then I'm going to do three more. One, two, three. With clear gesso, but using tissue paper. So three plain and three with tissue. Tissue paper. I can't speak. So let me open this. And hopefully it is still good because I don't even know when I bought this. But it was sealed. And whew, it is good. Okay. I'm just going to use my fingers. Although I could use this. This is old. It has that. I was using the Mod Podge. Let's see. I'm not worried about my manicure because I've been using that sandpaper thing. And my manicure is shot. So might as well... You know what? I think I'm going to use my hands because I don't like, it's very stiff. So I'm just going to use my hands. Why not? My manicure is shot anyway. Okay, so here's one. These I'm going to, I said I'm going to do just um, the gesso. And from what I've seen and what I've learned through YouTube, is that once I place the clear gesso, like it will give the card a little bit of tooth, a little bit of uh, tooth, so that I can add paint to it and it'll stay because otherwise the card is too glossy and it won't take any paint. So hopefully that's true. Oh my gosh, I got it all over my hands. I don't know if it's because, well, it could be that. Like it looks dirty. Mm, let me wash my hands. Hold on. 
Okay, I washed my hands, so that means that I'm going to have to make four of these because I don't know if it was because my hands had some of this um, Stabilo pencil, which I don't even know how to use that. I'm going to have to Google that. <laughs> Watch your video. So I'm going to see it looks kind of dirty. Not that that's a bad thing. I like the vintage look, but I'm going to see if if it's the product or it was because I had a little bit of stabilo on my fingers and i think it's the product it's taking off um the color that i the color from the card and it's spreading it out it's not a bad thing but this one is not as bad as these i think i went overboard with that let me move you here okay so we have those they're gonna be just like that i'm gonna set them do I have an empty spot in this room? Where can I set them to dry? Mm, nowhere, because if I put them on the floor, I know the dog is gonna come and just make a mess. So we'll push them that way. And then I'm gonna make two, three with the clear gesso base, but also using tissue paper. Let me get my tissue paper. I should buy stock at the Dollar Tree because, oh my gosh, I spent so much money there. Okay, so look, this whole thing for $1.25, it has 35 sheets. So that, my friend, is called a good deal. Okay, so technically, this could be my November gratitude project, which I've not done this year. But this could technically be it. I do have little gifts that I'm mailing out to my sweet magnolias. And I have, oh, I mean, I bought so many. Because I'm giving them out to my scrapbooking friends as well. Which I will see them in January. At the very beginning of January, we're having a, a retreat. And I will take them the little gifts then. So... Just this year, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with me. It's not that I'm stressed. I'm actually really relaxed. Too relaxed, I think. Is that is that possible? I am too relaxed. I feel like I'm not doing anything. I just I just chill. Which is not a bad thing, I guess. Alright, let me take this off and put this on it. I'm just going to do all three at the same time. Why not? I mean, I have 35 sheets of this. So put it down. And then... I guess I have to put a little bit of it on top of it as well. To kind of like seal it, I think. Let's do two with clear gesso on top. And one without and see if that works. If it doesn't work, then I can go back and put gesso over it but again i'm trying out things and see so i can see what works what doesn't work what i like what i don't like this is a great project for this quick inexpensive love it love it all right i i should buy like a cheap brush for this I feel like there's another Dollar Tree trip in store for me. Yeah, I think... I don't know, this weird. Did it not stick? This is not sticking, so I think it needs some more here. I hear the dog. He came in, so I'm glad I didn't leave things on the floor. Yeah, some of it is not sticking. So this one's stuck. Maybe I didn't put enough on this one. I don't know. The third one is stuck. It's just the middle one. Let me put more gesso here. Ew. I don't like getting my hands dirty, so I don't even know how this is working out. All right, I put a whole bunch of that. Okay. 
then I'm going to let these dry. I guess I could use the little, what do you call it? The heat tool. But, nah, I'm going to let it dry by itself. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, I'm going to do another set. So those four are only gesso. These three are gesso and tissue paper. Double coat, only one coat. Set this somewhere. I need a bigger... I'm going to need a bigger box. <laughs> bigger box. Okay, I have nowhere to put this. Seriously. Let me move my iPad out of the way. Okay. Put you here. Do I want to? Let me put these over here. On top of that little piece. All right. And then I'm going to try another another way. Where is my glue stick? On the box that I just covered. Of course, these are almost dry actually. That was pretty fast. I have that. These are so cute. Look, I have some more bases done. That has the tissue paper. So I have more bases done. This one. All right, let's try it. Let me try one. And I need, where's that paper? These are the four, leave that there. I have one, I have my glue stick. I need, I'm looking for it, I don't know where I, pretty sure I have more. I need, here we go. I have a card that I have used the sanding block. I'm going to do the back too because I, I kind of like it looking old and worn. Okay, that's done. Let me wipe it down. Wipe it down. Okay. So now I'm going to, for this one, use my glue stick and put some paper on it first. And then do the clear gesso with tissue paper or without. I need another one. Let's experiment here. Okay. One will have the paper, gesso, tissue, paper, gesso, no tissue. And I'll see which one I like uh, more. So let me let me ink the edges. This is maybe too big. Okay, we'll do that. Let me ink the edges. I'm using these tiny little distress ink. That's what I had. Using what I have. So I'm gonna have that. Uh, I like this side has more. I know where I need to make sure that it doesn't say anything disturbing because I'm gonna give it to my students, even though you can't really read much of it, but you never know. This was a book that I bought at the Dollar Tree, and I bought it because I like the title and the cover of the book. Like not the cover, but the the hardcover itself. I thought, oh, this is going to be a cute book to make a junk journal. I never even looked at what the book was about. And the title of the book was True Love, which I thought, oh, that's adorable, right? Mm -hmm. And the first card that I was making, I put a piece of paper down and I'm like, what does that say? And it was... <laughs> Not something that I wanted to give to my students. So now I'm double checking and making sure that I make good choices. Okay, so this is how I saw somebody do it. You do glue stick randomly. And then you just stick the paper. It's okay if the paper extends because you're going to let it dry. 
and then you're gonna rip it off so that only part of it is there. Like, let me show you an example. Do I have an example here? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. So you rip it off and you have just a little bit left over. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do this one. Oh, look at that, that's cute too. Okay, ink it really well. Glue it. And I kind of like the look of having on the corners because I like the fact that the you can still see that it's a playing card. I like that. I'm gonna extend it like this so that I can grab it from here. Once it dries, I'm gonna grab this piece and tear it off. But I have to let it dry really, really well um, so that some of it adheres to the card because if I do it now, when I pull this, the whole thing is gonna come off and I don't, I don't want that. That's all I can do for tonight. Please come back and watch the next video, which is going to be looking at how these look after they're dried and then this one i'll rip off the paper and do the mod podge and see what kind of background i like the best and then let me know in the comments below if you want to see my whole process of me creating all of these cards i would probably do it in like an assembly line type once i figure out the finishing touch that i like I'm going to make a whole bunch at the same time. So these I will do individually once they dry to see how I like the finished look. And then from there, I will pick one or two types of cards and go to town. Because like I said, I need to make 250 maybe. Maybe. Because one of my coworkers already saw uh, some of these and he... He says, oh, I want one for my son. So I'm going to make extras because that way people can just grab one. And I love sharing. And it's so inexpensive. It's a great, great quick gift. So you, I get so much out of it. So much out of it. Because I get to give something of myself, uh, which I love. I love giving things to people. And I get to create, be creative. It's quick. And I get to try different techniques as well. So it's a learning process. It's it's a mess, but it's a learning process. Come back again next week. I hope that you are having a beautiful, beautiful time. And happy Thanksgiving. And the beginning of the wonderful Christmas season, holiday season, for those of you that celebrate Hanukkah. Um, enjoy it. Bye.